The Understanding Language Initiative came about uh, in response to the, uh, uh, well, it, it really is in, in response to the challenge of, of including English language learners in this newest wave of, of standards-based reform. I've been involved in, in sort of such efforts uh, in, in the two previous uh, waves of standards-based reform uh, during the Clinton era, Improving America's Schools Act, when standards-based reform first uh, emerged on the policy scene, uh, and then uh, with No Child Left Behind and, it, and its implementation. Uh, and of course, now we're trying to reauthorize the uh, uh, ESEA, but the Common Core is really a big part of what's, what's, uh, what's going on. Um, and uh, a group of educators who you know, kind of saw both the, the, the enormous challenges that raising the standards would pr present to English language learners, uh, but also then we saw the opportunities uh, because uh, when you look at the Common Core, they really represent uh, a demand for engaged use of language by students uh, in a way that, that um, I think highlights many of the higher functions of language, uh, the actual use of language for uh, explanations and de debate and discussion and arguments and so forth uh, related to the content, that that really represented a true opportunity for English language learners if we could really seize and, uh, and develop it.